Man, I can't believe we're still doing this, man. This is absolutely just ridiculous. So Asia Wilson says that there is validity to, basically, I'm paraphrasing, basically saying there's validity to the claim that Caitlin Clark's popularity and everything has come from the fact that she's white. This shit has gotten out of fucking control, man. This stuff has started all the way from the from the title game with Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, because you had some, you know, some quote unquote conservative white guys who were saying, you know, some troll shit, saying crazy shit about Angel Reese, basically saying she's classless and different stuff like that. It all in all, it the backlash to Angel Reese was not that fucking serious. She did embrace a villain role. The way people, the conversation behind the whole thing was everybody was framing it completely wrong because Caitlin Clark, you know, they talking because Angel Reese doing the Tony Yayo shit to her. And I didn't have a problem with it. I like the competition. I like the shit talking within sports. <coughs> but it was not the same as when Caitlin Clark did it. Caitlin Clark, it was just something that she always did. It wasn't directed to a player. If you want to say that's the same exact fucking thing in basketball, you've probably never been, you probably never played sports or you're just being fucking disingenuous to serve your own bias, right? But it's not the same fucking thing. Um, even when, you know, because Haley Van Lith, who they said she did it to and was being classes toward when they were playing Louisville, she even confirmed that it was never done to her. And they even had she even had a conversation with Caitlin Clark following that. But Angel Reese did the shit directly to her, especially as the game is winding down and they've already got the dub in. I mean, shit, you're always going to be seen as a villain doing some shit like that. It doesn't matter who you are. You're Draymond Green, you're fucking Conor McGregor, whoever it may be. Damn race, gender, or whatever the fuck it is, right? But people don't like the frame shit. They don't like the frame. They just lose sight of stuff like that because they want to whine and bitch, and they got victim mentality about every fucking thing, man. To where they're not even applying objectivity or logic to anything. This shit is fucking stupid. So in turn from all of that, you had some trolls. And like I said, some of the stuff that was being said about Angel Reese what, wasn't cool, right? But for the most part, it wasn't a huge backlash. There's white folks that love it. There's a lot of folks that like seeing Angel Reese play along with Caitlin Clark and they brought an outstanding dynamic to the game kind of like Larry Bird and Magic Johnson but what you saw in turn and a lot of black folks admitted this shit they admitted this shit is now they started jumping on and hating Caitlin Clark just because there was white folks that went at Angel Reese what type of fucking sense does that make why would you not just go at the people who are talking shit. Why go at Caitlin Clark when she's not doing anything wrong but playing basketball, right? And so it's just even through that from then and from then and and just to the present, there's just been this hate train of Caitlin Clark. Uh, you had people talking about, talking about uh, Asia Wilson when it was after Caitlin Clark lost the championship and. They want to talk. Why isn't Asian Wilson? Does why does she she doesn't have a shoe deal? And why aren't we focusing on the champion, South Carolina, and shit like that? When y'all not even understanding, nobody there was nobody was fucking. I don't sit up there talking about oh I was and all of this. I was watching WNBA. I was promoting it on my sports channel years ago, on my sports uh page years ago, talking about WNBA. But people in general don't give a shit about the WNBA. They have it. 
Caitlin Clark, her style of play, kind of like similar to Steph Curry, it was transcendent, it was new, it, it, it was something, it's showing something that the women can do something just amazing, be able to shoot from 30 feet out, half court, stuff like that, it's, it, and it brought a lot of eyes onto the game, and when you bring, some have a player that's able to bring all of those eyes and bring that crowd, it's going to bring revenue to the fucking game that's just how shit works michael jordan operated the same way but these fools are so blinded by this victim fucking mentality that they're gonna ruin that now they're stepping on her toes instead of embracing her is it shit like like what diana tarazi said saying oh it's, it's gonna be tough and it's not gonna be easy stuff like that that's cool that's the competition part. But this crap with Asia Wilson talking about, oh, she's just popular because she's white. What the fuck are you talking about? And stuff like this from people like her, from like Asia Wilson, a lot of the pundits, a lot of the people out here who were crying and whining and shit like this. Even with Caitlin Clark, Caitlin Clark went on Saturday Night Live and was still trying to make concessions and trying to, and because she heard all the backlash, she was trying to name all the the black basketball players that came before her, everybody that people were naming online, like, uh, shit, I, I can't even fucking think right now, but, you know, Cheryl Swoops, um, old girl who used to play with the uh, Lynx, she was called, um, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now, but you, you know, Caitlin Clark did all of that, but none of that shit is enough to black folks, right? And, and she, she should have known that, but this, this whole thing is just absolutely ridiculous. She's bringing revenue to the game. She's bringing eyes to the game with her, you know, her being able to do this. And if everybody just embraces her, it also, it's able to highlight the other talent that's around the league. Black black players, black women players, and all of that, right? It's able to highlight that shit. But it's they're gonna step on their own toes because of this crap. Now, if Asia Wilson had a particular beef with Nike, because from what I what I think I saw, right, is there hasn't been any black women basketball players that have had a shoot in the WNBA that have had a shoe deal uh, for a long time. And the only current ones, are, they're all white players. That's a beef you should have with Nike, but just flat out saying her words, saying that her popularity is due to her being white. That is fucking ignorant, man. That's ignorant. And that just basically just, omits all the, all the shit that she was doing this the spectacular gameplay her dropping 30 points a game sitting up there shooting like Steph Curry the same way Steph Curry wowed everybody from the stuff that he was doing back in was 2015 to 2016 and he changed the way that the game is played now today all these all these little young niggas man they all shooting like Steph Curry now and it's spread the game out. It's changed the way the basketball game is. It's evolved it. It, it. it took some growing pains. A lot of people weren't used to it, but it's made for a better game. It's made for a better mixture. That threat of the three-point shot from anywhere is always out there now because now other players are looking and saying, well, shit, I can do that too. And they're going out and executing it. It's the same thing for the women's game, and it's grown the game, and it's expanded the possibilities of, you know, of their potential, of the women basketball players' potential. So why not just embrace this? Uh, but it's just so much fucking hate. Asia Wilson, then after Caitlin Clark's first game yesterday, everybody's talking about, oh, you see, oh, they all trying to dunk on her and trying to trash. I mean, it's, she's a rookie. It's her first game. She's playing with the best of the best when it comes to women's basketball. It's going to be growing pains. Are y'all going to keep the same energy for Angel Reese if that's how you want to go at Caitlin Clark? I would hope you don't go at Angel Reese like that. You shouldn't go be going at neither one. 
uh, they're two outstanding players that are going to be around for a long time. They're two great personalities. Uh, no matter what people think about Angel Reese, and this is that Angel Reese is a sweet, sweet young lady, uh, and just just has all the charisma in the world. Um, her, her and Caitlin Clark, if they can get to that superstardom level, and there could just be less of this bullshit that you see with Asia Wilson. I think they could grow the game, but I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. They're going to step on their own toes because they can't get out of this fucking victim, this victim mindset. <laughs> they can't get out of it. And they're going to apply, the, and then they apply the black with the woman. What's the What's the word for that? I, I forget the word for it, but you know, they, you, you've, you've added two minorities to it. So it's double victim, right? They're going to apply that to the shit, man. And they're going to step on their own toes instead of looking at this in a logical manner. So got to be strategic. This is bad, a horrible look by Asia Wilson. And like I said, if this is the route you want to go, that's cool. But don't cry. I mean, you, you've gotten, you you have not uh, turned over a profit. You, you don't turn over a profit. The NBA loses money on the WNBA every year. But you're still able to, to get chartered. You just got charter jets and stuff like this this year. Like that stuff is from Caitlin Clark. Because of the potential money, the ticket sales, different stuff like that. That's from Caitlin Clark. But y'all gonna step on y'all gonna step on the toes, man. We'll, we'll see where this goes. It's the grit culture. I'll holler at y'all later. Smarten up. <laughs>